We held a meeting about Brexit because everyone is very conscious that a lot's going to change during the Brexit process. And we also understand that there are opportunities in Brexit in terms of how we manage marine resources in the, the seas that the UK are responsible for. So we got a, a group of people together and it wasn't to talk about whether Brexit was a good thing or a bad thing and it wasn't really to talk about funding issues. It was more to concentrate on what policy will be needed and what changes could be made to make the best of the management of the seas and to understand how science and how the universities can feed into that process. And I think that the better information we have, the more we know about the ecosystems, the better technology that we apply, the better we'll be able to, to manage these systems into the future. And Brexit is obviously going to be a huge challenge and what we need is good science in support of that challenge. In terms of development of, of policy, I think Scotland has a number of advantages. I guess what you would call the chain of command is relatively short. So we had the head of um, Marine Scotland at the meeting. We also had the head of Marine Scotland Science at the meeting. We had senior members from universities. We had uh, senior members from non-governmental organizations. So the group of people was actually quite small, but it was a very select and experienced group. So this was really uh, a place to think openly and to discuss some of those implications and to select the target areas or to consider the target areas where science can help support delivery and improvement of, of policy. And we, we began to plan, you know, what would be a, a great outcome from the Brexit process five years on? What do we want the management of, of Scottish Seas to look like? And how can we use that process in a positive way? How we, we make the next step is a question of developing these ideas. We're going to put forward a, a, a small report on, on the workshop and then we're going to offer opportunities to meet in targeted areas to actually provide mechanisms for getting the science to the people who need it as fast as possible. Um, but also to, to think outside the box and be a bit innovative in terms of the technologies we use to gather the data and also how fast we can apply that data to different scenarios. So in some ways that's quite an exciting opportunity. Uh, whatever you think of Brexit, then putting senior people in a room and beginning to strategically think about how we can handle our marine environment and economies into the future it is not a bad thing to do. Um, Brexit has given an impetus for us to look at that in, in a, a new way perhaps um, and we all hope that a positive uh, result will arise from it. I think that the group that we put together were um, very supportive of the meeting. Um, it allowed senior people to talk across different institutional boundaries and yes they do want to be kept informed obviously the outcomes uh, will be part of the discussion with them and uh, the way that we, we take this in, into the future. So yes, I, I think it is going to be the start of, of further meetings, further discussion and further output.